How you doing? That's New York for hello. We'll try to do this in a New York minute. That means fast. So uh, this is a fine art uh, and professional practices uh, credit available uh, to go to New York, the uh, biggest city in the United States. We will uh, be staying at a, at a hotel called the Wellington, which is uh, right in Midtown, um, in between Central Park and Times Square, uh, right near Broadway. So it's a great location. Uh, you get to go to Times Square. You're in walking distance to Times Square. So this is from uh, last year. Uh, and also between Central Park. And we will walk through the park uh, many days when we go up to uh, Fifth Avenue and Madison to the uh, galleries, to the Met, those sort of things. So we'll be doing a lot of walking, so not a lot of uh, travel cost. Uh, right across the street is the Carnegie Deli, so you can get lots and lots of good food. Which you, There's no shortage of food in New York, in case you aren't aware. But uh, We'll stop at the Met, the Metropolitan Museum of Art. And when we were there uh, in the uh, spring last year, there was a, a Prada exhibit. Uh, so it was really nice to be able to see Ang, and then five minutes later, go down and see some beautiful uh, fashion. Uh, we'll take a trip to the Guggenheim. And last year, we saw a Francesca Woodman show, photography show. It was really beautiful. Uh, we'll go to the MoMA, the Museum of Modern Art. And when we were there last year, we actually, um, uh, Taryn Simon was doing an interview, and Cindy Sherman had an exhibit. And I'll let Gypsy tell you a little bit about uh, Taryn. Yeah, it was a coincidence when we got there. Um, didn't know that she was going to be there, and I had just done some research on her. She does really fascinating work about um, the patterns of genetics and uh, cultural patterns within family structure. And, uh, and most of her work is photographic, but um, she travels around the world and studies groups of people in, and generational patterns within family structure from all the way around the world in animals sometimes, but also within people. And um, so she had this huge show there and we were just lucky enough to be there at the right time. Of course, they kicked us all out of the gallery when they were videotaping, but, um, <laughs> but we were able to sort of see her and listen to her describe her work. And I think we ran into a lot of really great coincidences like that just because we were all over the city all the time. Go ahead. And I will say, if you wear a suit jacket, they don't kick you out. They just assume you belong there. It's really, it's interesting. That's how I got that photo. Uh, the Whitney Biennial, so every other year, uh, the Whitney showcases uh, work by up and coming artists that they discover. And it's a really good experience for you to see uh, what's at the forefront of the art world and is being selected by the Whitney. Um, and we actually went there with who, uh, our visiting artist uh, last year, uh, a man named Edgar Jarens. Uh, and it's interesting to hear a professional artist take on the up and coming artists. Uh, so there's other um, opportunities too. Um, we actually went to uh, Brooklyn to meet one of Gypsy's friends and I'll let her tell you about that. Yeah, we offered two classes and Stephen really um, encompasses the uh, studio end of things and I'll, I'll let him talk about that. But my class talks about the professional practices aspect of um, being an artist no matter what genre you uh, work in. Um, but then also, you know, moving to a, a really big city, metropolitan area like New York City, uh, living and working there. And I just happen to have a friend who was living in Brooklyn at the time and she was a Kendall alumni as well. Um, gra graduated Oh, in early 2000 with a graphic design degree and she has worked and lived in a lot of different large metropolitan areas in um, the United States and around the world and so she was able to we were able to go to Brooklyn and see sort of the other part of New York City we, there's sort of Manhattan and then you know Brooklyn Brooklyn is usually where more people live because it's a little more affordable um, and so the students were able to ask her anything that they wanted to ask her about living in working in New York City ask her about um, being a, f a functioning uh, fine artist she's worked for companies such as Sephora she's also been a freelance artist and she's a very open person in general so <laughs> There were no bounds to the questions that were asked, and so we had a really great time just sitting around and um, talking with her, and she had a great apartment as well. And that's us on the roof there looking at the Brooklyn skyline. 
Uh, as I mentioned before, we, uh, one of my, my friends, Edgar Jarens, lives there, and he teaches at the New York Academy and uh, is an international artist, and we got to uh, go to his studio on the Upper East Side. And just, you may notice uh, a difference from the, the uh, loft in Brooklyn and the studio space on the Upper East Side of New York and what you can afford. Uh, but it's a good uh, contrast to see how artists live and work in the city. Uh, we can also go to, we also went to the Frick Collection, um, uh, Henry Clay Frick, uh, it's a fantastic, fantastic collection, and the New Way Gallery, which uh, features works by Vienna artists um, uh, Klimt and uh, Arthur Kokoschka, um, Egon Schiele, just wonderful collection. Uh, then we went to the Cloisters, uh, which is a replica of a, a European abbey, and there's over 5,000 works of uh, medieval art. It's beautiful. The grounds are beautiful, and it's right along the Hudson River on the Upper West Side. Uh, we took a trip to the Morgan Library, which is uh, J.P. Morgan. It was built to house J.P. Morgan's uh, library, just dripping with uh, uh, finery and extravagance. And then the, uh, we went uptown to the Midtown uh, Gallery District, and there's a, a piece by Will Cotton of Katy Perry, and you can just pop into the Mary Boone Gallery and you never know who you'll see. Uh, and then we took a trip to the Chelsea Gallery District, and again, sort of like the Whitney, you just, you'll see a lot of up and coming artists, and it's probably the place where if you're going to show in New York, you would want to pursue talking to galleries, meeting galleries, finding out what kind of galleries, showcase work that is like the work that you want to make. Uh, we went to the Highline Park, which is uh, a re-envisioned and repurposed uh, elevated rail line along the west side uh, around the Meatpacking District. And now it's a park, and you'll see lots of uh, interesting things happening. <laughs> and we took a trip to the Society of Illustrators, which this is uh, uh, one of our students, uh, Karina Ulrich, who had a piece accepted into the Society of Illustrators show. So she, uh, it, it corresponds to the same time when we're there. So if you have a piece in the show, you can get to go see it, and also see what uh, up-and-coming illustrators are doing. And here's the nuts and bolts. There's two classes available. There's my class, which is a studio class. So we'll be going, we'll be experiencing fine art, and you'll be coming back. Uh, it's for seven, uh, eight days. And when you come back, we'll be making work. Uh, you'll be making work inspired by the work that you saw in New York. And then Gypsy is uh, teaching a professional practices course. Well, basically what I stated about, um, you know, living and working in a metropolitan area, I think just um, going over all of the marketing and, and uh, promotional stuff that you need to have ready, no matter what your medium is, um, completing your packet. When we go to New York City, we'll be going to the places and visiting the many places, and you can ask questions and gather information about um, how it is that you make connections and um, show your work or become employed. And so when we come back, we'll be um, brushing up and uh, developing all of that information that you need in order to make those connections and make those professional developments. And since we're staying uh, here in the, in the States, uh, the, the cost is, is under $2,000, so relatively affordable, and uh, lots of fun and interesting things to see. Thank you.